morning from a very foggy Cadrona, which I believe is on the Scottish borders. Uh, so it's another McDonald's course, similar to the one from yesterday at Spay Valley. If you didn't see it, then click the videos below and check that one out. Um, so yeah, so it's quite foggy this morning. It's, it's about 20 past eight. I've been told the fog will clear by nine. So I might not shoot any video. There's not a lot of point until I get some daylight. So yeah, so if I do get some video, enjoy. Hello, there's the uh, so um, the lady in the pro shop was spot on. She said the fog would start clearing. I know it doesn't look it, but it is getting a lot, lot better. I'm just on the eighth hole. Um, lovely course so far, very quirky. A couple of dog legs, a couple of um, tee shots where you, you have to pick your spot off the tee. Um, you can see the hotel in the background there, which is a uh, really, really nice hotel. Really, really impressed with this place. It's a little bit different to Spay Valley in the fact that you almost feel quite secluded here. You're away from everything, whereas Spay Valley was wide open. But um, hopefully as it clears, I'll get a few more shots for you. So as you can see, I'm on the ninth hole now, which is a little par three. The fog's starting to clear, and it does make for a beautiful view when the fog's clearing. Um, lovely little par three. You can see what I mean about this one. This course here at um, Cadrona feels a bit more secluded. Um, and I know that once the fog clears a bit more, you've got mountains that side and you've got like woodland area that side and Nashi's coffee house, big shout out to Nashi. Um, so yeah, so I can start filming a bit more now and you can start to see a bit more of this lovely course. Right, so I'm on the 10th tee now. Um, what a lovely looking hole. I'm going to try and zoom in. So you've got the river running down there. The green off in the distance. And the fog just disappearing up into the hills. Just stopped here on the 10th fairway. Um, and I noticed this little hole here to the right of me. I'm not sure what number it is, but it looks a cracker. It looks like a tight shot. Round to the green here, which is really tucked out of the way. Um, yeah, I'll show you that in a bit. So still on the tenth here. Um, I've put the camera back on. I've just hit an absolute bullet. Um, I had about one four five, which in these sort of conditions, full on eight iron for me. Um, as you can see, the pin's tucked right on the right hand side of this green. And I kind of aimed at the pin, hoping that maybe get a bit of draw, keep it away from the danger. That is this big horrible bunker. But, this is what I have. I'll stop here and get the birdie putt. So I'm just sitting at the back of the 12th green. And the clouds are clearing. Scotland, guys, place to be. So I'm here on the 13th, which is a little par three, about 170 yards. I've come up short. I actually hit the bank. You can see my ball just there. I've got to pipe it up. I'm going to record this one, see what happens. Right, I think that was pretty good. I'm not going to need me putter. There we go. There's a bunker shot for you. You are welcome. 
And just to give you an idea how steep that was as well. Very good. We're down here on the 14th tee now. Look at that. The way that cloud's just sitting there. Incredible. Uh, and also, I've spotted something that you only find in Scotland. And before I show you what it is, and it's just on the tee box here, before I show you what it is, I'll give you a quick, I'll give you five seconds to guess what it could be. One, two, three, four, five. It's a bottle of Iron Brew, only found in Scotland on golf courses. <laughs> So I think this is the hole that I showed you earlier when I was playing, I think the 10th. Um, it's very tight. So I think you have to play over the, over the ditch. This is the hole that I was playing earlier coming down here. Um, so let's get some action. Good. Touch a fade up the right hand side. Should open it up for me. Just check out some of these houses. Look at that one. Dream house. Dream location. Not so much a dream liar. As I've just caught this. Just caught this bit of a bank here. But with the green down there, let's get up here and show you. So that's, so that's what I've got, it's going to be above my feet a little bit, the green's tucked down there, pins front right, all the pins seem to be at the front today. Um, What do we think? Is that a gimme? Is that a gimme or shall we hold it out? If that was in a match, I wouldn't give that to you. So I better I'd hold it. I'm not taking the flag out. There we go. Good car. So quiet. Then I rock up. So I'm. Um, I've just hit my approach to the seventeenth green, which is quite a long par for us, about four ten. Um, this is the shot I've got. I thought I'd record this because this could end in disaster. Or it could end really, really well. So I'm going to get it from the back of the green coming over. Let's see if I can get it to stop fairly close. Uh, 
how much water. So I've just stopped here. This is um, just a little bridge that takes you to like a section of the course that's, that's over there. And you get this a couple of times here. Um, earlier on in the round, there was another bridge that goes over the same river a bit further down that way. Um, the, wa the water is crystal clear. I don't know if you can see that, but I literally can see to the bottom there. Um, so yeah, I like the fact that you have to, you know, if you come here, I'd recommend the buggy because um, there is quite a few walks between tees but for me that kind of makes the golf course because you like you go off into one area and you're there you're on your own you're nice and secluded then you come out of there and you go off to a, a different area with different views and every area has, uh, has got something different to offer I'm just tying up towards the hotel now um, yeah so this is the 18th, it runs adjacent. So you've got the driving range over there. Um, there's the hotel. That was my room just there on the ground floor. So we're playing down the 18th. Um, it's a shame that you couldn't see a lot of the, a lot more of the front line this morning because of the fog. I mean, it's still knocking around in places, but he's even warming up now. Um, so yeah, so really, really enjoyable course. Um, Really nice hotel as well. Again, it's a bit out of the way, but if you like that sort of thing, there is a spa here, there's a swimming pool, there's a gym. So if you want to bring your partners, someone else's partner, your girlfriend's wife, sister, whatever the case may be, it's um, it's a really good setup. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment below, like and share.